If you can beat me in a staring contest right now, I will send you a PB4000. Go. Guys, do you really think that you are going to win a PB4000 off of, of a staring contest? Did you not see that this was looped? How long did it take you to realize that that was looped? Be honest with me. Be honest with me. <laughs> Guys, so we're gonna talk about six things that your home theater is missing, and we're gonna get right into it. In no particular order, we're gonna give our top six things that you're missing. And number one is going to be HDR, not just HDR TVs, but HDR content. So if you guys don't know what HDR is by now, it's called high dynamic range, and that's the contrast between the brightest brights and the darkest of darks. And we all know that you want to be able to pinpoint detail and accuracy in a dark scene or dark movie. You want to really bring that out so it looks more realistic to you guys and it helps the immersion when watching a movie. And so if you're not watching an HDR now, you're actually missing quite a bit. HDR doesn't just deal with the contrast between um, light and dark, but also helps those colors pop out. So when you're watching your favorite movie, you might be missing a lot of detail. So it's super important nowadays to get HDR. It's becoming more standard in televisions, and so it needs to be more standard in your house. So if you don't have HDR content right now, or don't have an HDR panel, think about finding one. They're pretty cheap nowadays. Next on our list is the Universal Remote. And not just talking on Logitech Harmony One or anything like that, but even smart devices like Echo Dot enabled, or I almost said the A word, Echo Dot enabled or Google Home Mini, whatever you have, those things are able to control all your devices, your television, your lights, your receivers, everything that you need in your home theater can be controlled by one of those devices if you don't have a remote. If you're not into that economy of smart devices, if you're afraid that you know somebody's listening to you all the time, you are able to get you know smart remotes. Some are $10, $20, some could be $100. It's kind of up to you. But universal remotes help you reduce the clutter in your home theater and it also helps you have everything in your hand to control all at once. So you can control your television, your receiver, your lights, anything you want to control, you can control it from your hand. Only one remote across all devices. So it lowers the clutter. You don't have to find the remotes that go to this, this, and this. You can all control it one at a time. So get a, get a remote. It'll help you out. Next up on this list is a surge protector. I've been talking about surge protectors probably since my whole channel has been bigger. You need a surge protector. You're spending good dollars on your television, your speakers, your receivers, your amplifiers, your power conditioners, things like that. You need a surge protector because that one storm that comes through could light up your entire system. And that's not just for your home theater. That's for everything you have plugged up. There's nothing in my house other maybe than a lamp or so that's plugged in to a surge protector. Everything is plugged into a surge protector because you just never know when a storm is going to come through and lightning is going to strike and it's going to send a surge of power to your system and light it on fire. It's happened to me personally and I hated it. Um, you want to get a pretty sufficient surge protector. There's different things, um, different ratings. They're rated in joules. So you have to look and see the higher the joules, the more protection it will serve. And that's going to be super important. You don't want to you know, spend all your money on your electronics and things like that and then a storm comes through or a surge comes through and just lights you up in your entire system. I, I, I almost cried when mine happened. So I don't want it happen to you guys. So definitely look into getting the surge protectors on all your electronics if you don't have one now. Next on this list of things that you are missing in your home theater is expression. And that just means decorations. What makes that room you know, come to life? If you love football, put some football posters up. You know, throw some jerseys on a wall. Have a football on a, on a bookshelf. If you love sports, if you love music, make that your theme. If your theme is to have a home theater, then add some home theater decor, add a popcorn machine, things like that. Bring your room to life. Add some curtains, put a rug in there. Just bring your room to life. Add some expression to it. It's going to really make it feel yours. Especially when people come over, they're going to be like, oh wow, that's super nice. I like that. That's really cool. And you give ideas to other people. So, you know, you may have your home theater set up, you may have your speakers and your nice television, your projector, but it doesn't have a lot of life in it. Make it unique, make it your own, add some expression to it. The next thing you're missing in your home theater is a smart television. Now, smart TVs are standard now, I think, in my opinion. 
Back in the 1080p days, we didn't see a lot of smart TVs. I mean, a lot of them were smart, a lot of them weren't, but I think nowadays, most TVs are smart, but some people still don't have a smart television. So most TVs, even 1080p's, are smart now. And what that means is that it has all the apps that you can use, uh, maybe a magic wand on your remote, but Netflix, Voodoo, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, the internet, it's literally a smart device, a tablet in a sense, a big old tablet in a sense, that you can use to search whatever you want, watch whatever you want, listen to Spotify, tune in, um, all that good stuff. Get a smart TV. Um, it's easier to have everything there at once on a big screen than to have you know, your tablet here and then your phone here and then you may have something else that you're using, a Kindle or whatever. You can have that all right there on your television. Have Netflix all in one place, have your Hulu all in one place, have your Amazon Prime Video all in one place one central hub in your in your room so if you're not into the smart tv tech yet definitely look into it it's much 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 cheaper than it used to be it's an easy way to get all your apps and all your music into one place take a look at it the final thing that your room is missing right now is soundproofing and i'm not talking about completely dampening out the whole room throwing foam everywhere that's not what i mean guys you can get away with putting a rug on the floor and it makes a huge difference you put a cabinet there, a picture here, a frame there, it makes a huge difference. Add some plants, add some um, cabinets, add some um, bookshelves, curtains, things like that will really help your sound without putting a whole bunch of panels, which most people don't like the look of them. There are some nice ones, but they're rather expensive. But if you want to, you know, dampen your room, add some soundproofing, reduce reflections, reverberation, you can just simply add a rug to the floor if you have bare floors, add a rug to it. If you have nothing on your walls, add a few picture frames, add a painting, add some curtains to your windows if you're just using blinds. It makes a huge difference in the sound, I promise you. And it still looks really, really good. And it adds that expression that we talked about to you guys. So that's what you're missing right now. Those are your six things. And leave me a comment down below. What of those six things did you not have? Do you not have a smart TV yet? Are you lacking expression in your room? Let me know down below if you're missing anything. Also, if you aren't missing anything, leave me that down below too. Tell me your whole theater setup. What TV are you using? What's the expression you're using? Let me know, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for more videos. I got some really cool ideas coming up for you guys and possibly some giveaways you just never know. So stay tuned, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Remember, we're elbowing in that subscribe button today. So elbow that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, face guy out.